Alléluia, Alléluia, Alléluia. We praise you, O oh God, we acclaim you as Lord. The white robed army of martyrs praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing in loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. This feast of the Holy Innocents seemingly celebrates a great tragedy. But in essence, there is something very beautiful that is taking place here that is hidden. And this is exactly what Herod is threatened by. He is threatened by what he cannot see and what he cannot understand. He's threatened by what he cannot see and what he cannot understand, what is hidden. And so while Herod is trying to save his throne, he's actually bringing the downfall of it himself. And I say that there is something that beautiful is taking place here in this. We celebrate this Feast of the Holy Innocents and as we try to understand the slaughter of the innocents, what abortion does, God is doing something beautiful, something hidden that we cannot see, even in the midst of the slaughter. He's taking these innocent children, innocence itself, purity and innocence, and in hiddenness, He's drawing them to himself and he's building up his army. Because what defeats, what defeats Satan, what defeats evil, what defeats this slaughter is innocence and purity. And we see that from the cross. We see that from the cross. So there are three things that are happening that we cannot see, and they, each of them begins with the letter H. What is hidden? In humility, in the heart of Christ. What is hidden? In humility, in the heart of Christ. Because that is where evil is destroyed. Hiddenness and humility in the heart of Christ. And when the heart was pierced, blood poured out. And so the blood of the holy innocents, united with the blood of Christ, is what destroys what the world cannot see and what it does not understand. The 
scriptures. And the scriptures say, God is light, and in him there is no darkness. And if we have, if we fellowship with him, then we too walk in the light.